welcome back to Paris Creation. How you guys doing, family? It's been a while. You know, I just want to do a quick update with you guys, let you guys know that um, I started my new, my first job as a CST. I'm doing orientation. Um, it's a really good gig, nice paying gig, free parking. Um, and I know free parking, when people hear this stuff, I live in New York, so free parking in the hospital is, you know, rare to come by. We got free parking out here. Um, like I said, nice paying gig, nice benefits, just a great gig. Um, I'm happy. I'm doing orientation right now, and I just want to give you guys a few tips, just a few things that I learned so far that I want to pass on to my fellow students or anybody who just graduated and headed on, you know, to orientation. Let's do it. Okay, guys, tip number one. We're going to talk about shoes. You want to find you some good sneakers, some good clogs. I don't care what you get, but just make sure you invest in some high quality shoes. You're going to be standing on your feet for four to five hours sometimes at a time. Um, for me, I know for me, I'm a big guy and, and that really put a toll on my, on my feet. Um, you want to really find something that works for you. And then when you find whatever works for you, I'll give you another quick tip. Buy two of the three of them and just stack them up. Because sometimes you'll find something that really works for you. And then when you go back to buy it, it'll be out of stock or discontinued. You just want to, when you find the one, get a few of them. Invest in some good shoes, man. Um, you're going to be standing on your feet for a long time. I know for me, I start work at 645. And sometimes we don't get a break. We don't get to sit down. We don't get to rest your feet till 11. 11.30 or even 12 o'clock, and that's like four to five hours. So you guys want to invest in some good shoes, all right? Uh, tip number two. Okay, do yourself a huge favor. Uh, go out there to your retail store, online, wherever, and go get yourself some compression socks. Standing on your feet for five to four or even more hours at a time, put enormous pressure on your feet and legs. These things can cause varicose veins spider veins um if you guys don't know what that is do yourself a favor and google it you guys don't want that you have pain in your legs after the end of your shift compression shocks alleviate these pains um and it works wonders all right it helps the blood flow to go back and forth from your legs back up to your heart pumping back down to your legs um they do a great job everybody needs a few pair of those if you're working in a nursing or surgical tech field or any field that you stand on your feet for long periods at a time, do yourself a favor and get you some compression socks. It's a complete game changer. We're going to keep it real simple. Do yourself a favor and get some compression socks. Last but not least. So this is tip number three. This one, um, I kind of just learned this one, uh, one of my nurses, you know, pulled me aside while I was doing a case and she just told me, you know, a little tip because I didn't know about this. I didn't even learn about it in clinicals. So if you already know about it, just forget about it. But you guys know when you're doing a case and you have a lot of lap pads or a lot of ray tacks and, you know, you just throwing it in your kick bucket as a, as a case go by. You know, what you want to do is, you know, be nice to your nurse. Um, and open out those ray techs or open out those lap pads. And when you drop it in the bucket, don't just drop it into the bucket. Try to drop it in a way where it hangs from the side of the bucket. What it does, it makes it easier for when the nurse has to go down and count. She doesn't have to go and pull through all of the laps and, and, uh, ray techs. And it, you just, you know, help your nurse out a little bit. You want to have a good rapport with your team members. And, you know, the nurse is definitely part of your team members. So you want to, you know, just try to help out. Be a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? Be a nice guy. Okay, guys, that's all the tips that I have to share for now. But you know how they say it. Each one, teach one. So as I learn something new, um, this is just more for students or just more for people who just graduated like myself. 
you know, um, I'll just pass on any type of information to you guys. I hope everybody's doing well and keeping themselves safe through this whole pandemic. Um, let's get it, man. Let's come out here and graduate and let's get these jobs and let's, you know, get into our feel and do what we need to do. Take care of our families. Till the next video, all right? Found the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish out.